<laughs> no, do it again. One, two, three. We're back. Oh, new video. It was fake telling me that I should buy them. Hi guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to a very exciting vlog. Now this vlog is super exciting because tonight I am actually going to see my first piece of live theatre since lockdown. I can't even believe I'm saying this. Literally pre-lockdown my flat and I used to try and go to the theatre once or twice a week and it has been so, so sad not being able to see live theatre and not being able to support the arts in the way that we love to do because obviously it is the industry that we are going into so we love to show as much support as we can and it is such a big part of our industry education to watch as much theatre as possible. But tonight we are going to see Pippin. It's actually in Vauxhall in the Garden Theatre I think it's called. So it is outside so I'm going to be freezing. So I am actually going to need to dig out my winter coat because I do not want to be cold. I am so so excited. I thought I would vlog the whole experience for you guys because obviously going to see theatre now is going to be very different to before. Kind of like everything in life. <laughs> Today is currently Tuesday and I have just had masterclass this morning, hence why I am wearing a dress. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a second. We had sun time this week, which was so super duper fun. I'm wearing this pink dress from Gap. It's like a wrap dress. It is a tiny bit big, but my mum got it for me in Dubai and sent it over, so I couldn't exactly exchange it, but it is still fine. It's kind of nice that it's a bit loose on the top. And then it's just long and flowy. I was going to wear white trainers, but it was chucking it down with rain. So we went for the boot and I also had my leather jacket on. I think it kind of looks quite cool. It's not my usual kind of vibe but I kind of dig it. Also I have a Zara bag here because I have something I need to take back. I'll also show you the other stuff I got from Zara at some point in this vlog. This is going to be probably a two or three day vlog. I'm now back from class. It's about 20 past six. We need to leave in about half an hour so I've got a very unnutritious dinner of Ojabix and granola. I love a little cereal pick and mix so I'm going to munch on this. I need to get changed. I don't know what to wear because it's not that cold outside but I feel like when we're sitting outside and it's dark we're going to get cold so I think I'm going to need to layer up but I'm going to quickly shove this down my throat put a little bit of makeup on because I currently have zero on. Abby's here! Hiya everyone! <laughs> Not doing it again, I don't know. No, so I'll just show you what I'm quickly wearing. I'm literally sweating right now because it's so hot in my room. We're both gonna literally die on the tube. Everything looks so blue right now. I don't understand. This jacket is actually green and it's from ASOS last year. I'm wearing this jumper which is Topshop. I've got on underneath my new Zara cardigan, my Gucci belt, Topshop jeans, Nike Air Force, Abby looks glorious. Oh, I thought you were going to shoulder your leg. Imagine. One, two, three. Spectacular. So we're now going to wait for Eleanor to finish her class and then head off to the tube to meet Isabella and Reese. It is now the next day. It is Wednesday. As you guys know, if you've watched my vlogs before, Wednesday is a very strange day for me as I don't start till half past five at night. I am going to do a full on chat about Pippin later, but I'm just about to head out. So I thought I'd just quickly intro today's part of the vlog. This morning I am heading into Carnaby Street because I need to exchange this top from Zara for a different size. I need to go into North Face because I want to try on some winter coats. And I also want to go into Monkey. Today I'm wearing my leather jacket, this navy blue jumper from Zara. Gucci belt, Gucci disco bag, Topshop mum jeans and my white beiges, just super casual and the weather's kind of weird today so didn't want to wear a big jacket. I'm now back from town. I thought I would just quickly sit down and show you what I got. The reason I actually went into town in the first place was because I needed to do an exchange in Zara. I'd been in the other day when I'd had a singing lesson and I picked something up, which was actually this little cardigan co-ord. I got the cardigan in a small because that's always what I buy stuff in. This is the cardigan. It was $12.99. It is super cute. Just this kind of little pale green color. And then it has a matching top that goes under it. Oh, new video. Now the top they only had in an extra small when I went in so I just picked it up but it was a little bit small so I went in and swapped it for the small this is the little top as you can see they're such a cute little combo the top was $9.99 the cardigan was $12.99 also from Zara the other day I picked up this little black polo neck this is just kind of for college and it's just really cute and it was $9.99 again in a size small but then obviously because I was in town I got distracted and went into other shops from Hollister I got this really really nice top it's very thick strap kind of bag 
Ando. Kind of a greeny colour, minty colour. I think it might be nice for my headshots. So I need to try this on. Again, I got this in a small and this was £19, but I got 15% off with student discounts. Then I went into H&M and I got some socks because I appear to have left all of my white socks in Dubai. I'm not really sure how I managed to do that. Anyway, I just got a pack of seven plain white ankle socks because I literally have three pairs of white socks to my name and I'm constantly having to fish through my washing basket for socks, which is really disgusting. So got some white ankle socks and then these other socks were on three for two and I just thought that they were very cute. These are little ankle socks. I got one with a little sparkly black heart, one pair with a little rainbow and also one pair similar with the sparkly but stripes and they were 2 99 each. But again, as I said, they were three for two. So that is great. And now I am stocked up on white socks, which is ideal. And then I did have a little bit of a splurge. I have wanted these for a little while now and they are usually always out of stock, but I went into shoe and they had them. So I felt like it was fate telling me that I should buy them. And that is these Converse. Now I've not worn Converse in years, but I saw these ones online and they just really caught my eye because they're really different. And they are these high top leather Converse and they are basically three tones. So they are cream on this side, tanny nude in the middle, if you can see on the tongue. And then this side is the inside and they are pale gray and I just think they're so cool and they're something a bit different they're not really like any other converse and also they are platform because I've been loving wearing my superga platforms over summer but they are very summery trainers and I can't really wear socks with them so I thought these would be better for in the winter months and also if they get dirty because they're leather they could just be wiped down and shoe had 20% student discount so that was amazing as well so I'm really really happy with these guys I've just taken my H&M socks out the packet and I've been putting them in their pairs and there's an odd number is that a joke oh this is so annoying I really don't want to go back. Come on, H&M. I'll take that back. There's three more. They were under my jumper. Idiot. So I don't know if you guys remember in my last vlog I think I told you that I hadn't been doing too well My voice had been so tired because of quarantine etc etc going 110% first week of term So I've been doing a lot of straw work if you guys want to know more about straw work, please do google it I'm not an expert on it But my singing teacher has suggested that this would be the best way for me just to make sure that my voice is still ticking along nicely So I'm doing around like two to three minutes five or six times a day because it's good to do little and often done a kind of a little bit of a warm up I'm gonna practice my song but just humming it through the straws so guys I just got ready for dinner I'll just quick show you what I'm wearing I'm wearing my new converse black jeans Gucci belt and this little uh, Zara cord jumper thing and yes I'll speak to you guys probably in the morning <laughs> Hello guys, happy Thursday. It is currently around 10 past 8. I'm gonna update you on why my hair is in little bunchies and show you what I'm wearing in a second. I thought I would just quickly sit and chat to you guys about Pippin and what I thought and how the theatre experience was. I feel like I want to balance you somewhere. Okay, you're currently very precariously balanced on a candle and a light up L, but I have about 20 minutes until my class starts. So, Pippin. Honestly, firstly, just getting to see live theatre was insane. It was so much fun. There's just not a word to describe the difference between watching live theatre and film or TV, for example. So it was all very well organised. I felt very safe. So you all turned up at the venue in your bubble. So you could book in a two, a four or a six, I think. We were as a six. And yeah, you turn up in your bubble. You all got temperature checked. You all were made to sanitise your hands. You then got taken into the venue, one bubble at a time, into the bar. And you were sat at a table in the bar, like spread away from other groups. And then you could order food and drinks and stuff to take into the performance but you could also have them before and then they took each bubble in to the theatre which was a covered over garden kind of thing you'll have seen in the clip you had to keep your mask on during the performance obviously you could take off to like have a drink or something it was a production not like anything else i've seen it was only a six person cast obviously it was outside and i think what they did was insane especially given the circumstances firstly Pippin is a bit of a weird show anyway this is the second time I've seen it and not gonna lie still don't really know what it's about it's not my favorite show ever I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you but I thought the performance of the show was amazing like besides my opinion on the actual show if you are in London I would recommend going to see it they have actually extended their run and it is at the Garden Theatre in Vauxhall our tickets were £20 so pretty reasonable so if you are looking for some theatre to go 
and see to get your theatre fix then I would really really recommend it. As I said today is Thursday and I have a jazz for audition this morning. We're auditioning for Hairspray. So I've got my hair in little kind of half bunchies because I'm going Penny Pingleton vibes but I wasn't going to go for a full bunchie. I've just got my normal natural makeup on and then I'm not wearing this jumper. I've just got it over what I'm wearing because I'm freezing. I actually had this little skirt dress thing anyway. I used to wear it all the time and it's so hairspray so I'll just show you it. Does this not literally look like it just came out of Penny Pingleton's wardrobe and it's a skirt so it's good for dancing in. I got this from Zara like five years ago. Actually no that's such a lie. Probably like seven years ago. I used to be obsessed with it. Obviously I'm not going to wear my Uggs. I'm going to put trainers on but I'm just cold. Also this jumper is from Uniqlo and it is the snuggliest thing ever but now I need to move all my laundry because this is where I need to dance so I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. This is the reality of doing classes at home. I'm now heading down to the kitchen to make myself a snack. And also I wanna show you two new products which I got from Sainsbury's yesterday. I actually did a Sainsbury's online order and I got these products because I've wanted to get them for ages and they're always out of stock in my Sainsbury's. They're both by a brand called Nush. This is the yogurt. It is a dairy-free almond milk yogurt in strawberry flavor. It's free from dairy and gluten and it's vegan. Quite thick and creamy. So I'm buzzing to eat this with my granola tomorrow. And I also just tried a tiny bit of the dairy-free almond milk cream cheese in the natural flavor and not gonna lie I thought it was gonna be kind of gross because most vegan cheese substitutes are disgusting but this is really good it literally tastes like Philadelphia there's also one with chive in it over here I've got half of my pitta it doesn't look very appetizing with the dairy-free cream cheese I put a little bit of black pepper on it and I'm just gonna fold that in half and then I am gonna dunk this half in my hummus it's really not a very aesthetically pleasing snack I was just editing this vlog and I realized that I completely forgot to end it so if you did enjoy this vlog, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. It really helps me know what videos you guys are enjoying. Also, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are getting so, so close to 3,000 subscribers. And I would love if you guys could help me hit it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for all your continued love and support. And I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.